Like I'm such a hypocrite. I was just literally saying, why are we busy feeding them and then some of these snacks to throw at them. So I'm gonna try throw now. Look, throwing. Whoa, that one caught. He caught it. I am currently at the bus stop. The bus is just left. Not the bus I'm supposed to get on. I'm supposed to get on the 5602 bus. It is a beautiful day today. Yebuda, beautiful, beautiful. That's Korean for beautiful. Um, it's spring. I said to myself, you know, let me just get out um, and stop being a recluse and, you know, just go see this beautiful city for what it is. So I'm headed out to Seoul of course uh i'm waiting for my bus uh scheduled to come over there is the monitor just uh behind that lady um it tells you what times the bus come you know how long it takes for the bus to get here and the bus i'm supposed to get on will take about 14 minutes so yeah, I just thought, you know, let me just get out and just be a person and live. And here I am. Just it took so much for me to actually just get out of my place because yesterday it was raining. It was not not a good day. But you know, rainy days cause for a good Saturday domestic day where I just cleaned the house you know did all that uh, washed my hair it's currently in grey I corn roaded nyana type of thing so yeah I am going to just show my day and see how it unfolds there's no plan per se I, I'm just going with the flow today and seeing where it takes me Mm. lots of cars uh, um, the bus stop is near the freeway so freeway highway whatever you want to call it Evidently, I am climbing up the stairs that you just saw now. Um, yeah, it's not my first time being at the station. A uh, few times actually. My favorite station though is Guro Digital Complex because that's where the green line is, number four. Sioksu Station is the blue line, number five. And in order to get to my destination, I need to use the blue line. I'm currently on a bridge. Very, very beautiful day outside today compared to what it was yesterday. Um, I'm seeing a very, oh, the girl is unfit. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I am seeing a very, very nice skyline behind me of the city. And on the other side, a mountain. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Here is the station. I need to take out my tea money card. I hear the train, it probably left me now. Oh. Going in. I think I have to, I don't know. Which one I'm using? No, it's the other side. Gyeongchun office is on the other side. People are coming up, meaning I just missed it. But it's fine because usually the intervals are pretty fast in between tra trains. Um, should be another 10 minutes. So let's see. Let us see. Let us see. 
Yes, the direction is right. Gyeongcheon Gu office is where I'm supposed to be. This is the line I'm supposed to be on. The other side is going to Gwanak. So the opposite direction. Um, that's how it's divided. Obviously, the platforms are split into two. The one platform goes in the one direction. The other platform goes in the opposite direction. So beautiful. Look at all of these cherry blossoms behind the doors. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide on whether I should use horizontal or vertical um, shots. I like horizontal. There's something about horizontal, but I don't know if it will translate well in video after editing and whatnot. I mean, I'm trying this vlogging thing now for the first time. I have been sleeping on it. I have so many videos stored, but I have not had the, the, the gull to post anything. But I think today I will try and see what goes. Okay. Oh, the train is coming just when I was about to sit down. Never mind. False alarm. The jingle that was heard in the background usually is an indicator to let you know that the train is approaching. But now nah, I, clearly I thought wrong. It was the oncoming train that was not stopping. So I am... Um, very new to this i haven't posted anything because i'm a little shy birdie these days i just i used to be so confident um, but no i shout out to vloggers out there this is not an easy thing my time in korea is almost up so i'm like you know better late than never to start documenting my time here the struggle of being a tolly a giant a tall person don't touch my shoes oh most of the pants I get here are always above my ankle Lord have mercy waiting for the train still waiting for the train has two transfers okay so I've arrived at my transfer station line five like this you just follow the crowd despite the signage saying transfer follow the crowd it's just to follow the crowd like oh yeah herd mentality as some may call it and you will definitely find where you're supposed to be is <laughs> these like really cool markets over here in the stations reasonably priced things i once got like these fuzzy socks during winter in one of these stores i i i i, I don't spend as nearly as much as i wish i could or would but it is what it is i have no purpose i'm just the purpose is just to view the cherry blossoms that's it I'm a lover of beautiful things. What can I say? Starting off with the cherry blossoms blooming. By the way, interesting fact about the cherry blossoms is that they only bloom for two weeks. So this weekend is virtually the only time I'll have to go and see them in full bloom and at their peak. Okay, I'm going on an escalator now. So you always have to leave a space. Um, we need to stay on our right side. Yeah, right side is if you're staying 
and not moving and then the left side needs to be open for the people that need to rush off and go somewhere so i'm going back up because this is not where i'm supposed to be actually um that 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 train was going towards another place i don't know how to pronounce i'm supposed to be going towards a uoido uoido station so um yeah i have to go somewhere else uh, i have to find it oh it's here it's on the other side i think yeah it's this one i'm hoping it's this one let's see let's see if i'm on the right transfer platform because the one i was on before was going to the opposite direction yes I am. See? Yes. You know the station is where I'm supposed to go. The other platform that I was on, which was wrong, was this Long Ford Market. Yeah, so I need to look for the, the door number that I'm supposed to go stand in front of because the door numbers will tell you whether you will arrive and it's a faster transfer basically okay so i am now in my transfer train the right one that's a good thing uh, one more stop until i reach my yuina station i don't think you can hear what i am saying because it is so loud Cases though, hmm? Yui Naru. Goodness gracious. Okay. Here we are. I, it's my first time coming here. Wait a minute. This looks very familiar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've been here before many times. I'm coming to the Hangang River. Actually, Han River, because Hangang Gang is river in Korean. So I literally just said river twice. <laughs> Han River River. I am here at Han River. Oh, I'm here. What wasn't I aware of where I was going when I knew all along? Wow, okay. <sighs> okay, so here's some of the cherry blossoms. All right, so I've been here before, which is okay because I'm familiar with the surroundings. Wow. Okay, so these are the ladies that will sometimes give you pamphlets, you know, as part of their advertising. Sometimes quite forceful, but anyway, here is the Han River. Ooh, weather don't look good all of a sudden. Looking a little cloudy. But um, they did say there's like a 0% chance of rain. We have our cyclists over here pedestrian we wait i'm just gonna wait for them to pass before i make a move see 
see why vlogging can be so dangerous because you're focusing so much on the talking and then you stop with the looking and then they hit you with the bicycle okay so i'm just gonna go it looks like it's clear wow 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 the last time i came to the han river was my birthday well my birthday week few days before my birthday so this must have been in October last year that's the last time I came here I remember I wore my pink cute jacket yes okay pink clearly is a game pink and gray is the order of the day but the only difference now is that I am uno no muro number I'm number one on my own on my own number one I don't know what I'm saying but they changed the sign the I saw you sign it was not like this before I will show I will show it when I approach it I'm still heading towards it it's pretty pretty far-ish but I'm getting to it oh it's such a cool day now I wish I had my bicycle here with me I, I bought a second-hand bicycle last year mid last year you know and I haven't been riding it as much because of the winter but you know oh it's such a beautiful day look at this I can't believe I didn't know where I was going to I just didn't know the name of the place all along kids be observant I am here here's the beautiful I saw you I saw you sign um, I cannot believe that I actually I've been here before but I didn't know where I was going just simply based off the name you know um, you know the thing is like in my defense cool man in my defense I was with people I, I've always traveled here with someone or with people never on my own so you know sometimes like Mina, I've got a nasty habit of when I go with people to places, I relax my mind so I don't focus on paying attention to things around me and stuff because I rely too much on the people that I'm with. So obviously now that I'm on my own, because the last time I came here was around my birth birthday weekend, my birthday week, October, of my friend who went back to South Africa. So now you see like I'm here with the expectation of seeing more cherry blossoms but I'm a little disappointed because the trees are bare like I, I mean we saw I saw the some of the cherry blossoms just going out of the station but Dololo here I thought that they would be in full bloom at the park I, I thought wrong look at all that the skiing skiing people are having fun people are living but the trees are bare so I don't know now I'm the weirdo with the selfie stick directionless and disappointed but it's fine I mean I I think I will go back towards that direction and see if I see if I can spot more more of the trees why I actually got out of bed today but uh, I don't know, I'm very surprised to see some of the trees still bare. I mean, we're in spring now, so like, yeah, anyway. Yeah, but I'm here and I'm happy and I don't know. I'm loitering, I'm aimlessly wandering, but that's fine. You can hear the seagulls in the sky, it's a bit cloudy. Um, here's some building, big big building fancy building and here is the river this is the river the Han River the very famous river in Seoul um, you should come here with your friends family lovers all of the above <laughs> yeah no those guys are are usually known for putting on a show the people on the ski jets <laughs> I really like uh, coming to this park because it is so vast, so big, so beautiful, so calming. Um, 
yeah and I'm just gonna see if I can find like a yeah they're the guys I'm distracted by the guys on the ski boat doing the things to be done dun, dun, dun. so crazy so cool so epic so soul okay so I'm a bit settled now um, it's pretty cool seeing all of this happening um, you know I actually think that this is literally a spare of the moment decision I think I may go on the ferry today I will go and inquire and see how much it is I think I have to go to, to there's like a I don't know if you can like a ferry looking station there and I'm gonna go there and see um, if like I could get on it maybe and say that I've been on the Han River Ferry I've been wanting to actually I wanted to do it for my birthday but I never got around to do it so that's fine ah, the, the spectacle is over now the jet ski guys but um, yeah I mean that's all for you very unpredictable very glitzy glamoury but uh, it's a beautiful 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 place um, actually one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to um, that and Singapore and obviously home Saudi Saudi South Africa South Africa South Africa you know but yeah uh, it, like it's very very beautiful and I think I've said that so many my, my vocabulary is limited just by the way so I can generally describe things as beautiful. I don't know what else to say either than that they're beautiful. But you know, um, yeah, like this is one of the most popular places to go to in Seoul. And I think that's indicative of the fact that I've been here three times. The third time not knowing I was coming here, but here you go. Um, yeah, uh, it's just, uh, this is the Han Bridge, the bridge, Seoul Bridge. Um, the blue bridge over here. Over there. Uh, yeah. Um, it's well. It's a very big, long, very long bridge. Um, I don't know how long it stretches for. I wish I knew that fact. But I know that, in as much as it's epic and whatnot, you know. Um, oh, I see a wreath floating randomly in the water anyway um, the ferry is coming there's the ferry I'm gonna inquire and see what it do if there's walk-ins or you have to book it but anyway we'll see if I'll get on um uh, yeah so I was about telling you about the Seoul bridge the Han bridge the Han River bridge at in Seoul I don't know what the formal name for it is but I'll just call it the Seoul bridge for the purpose of explaining what I know about this bridge it, has a very grim kind of uh, history behind it and reality oh the ski guys are there they back so what I know is you know uh, Korea is known for its very high suicide rates you know because it is a first world country it's fast-paced highly developed and and rapidly so from the Korean War but um, you know with a lot of uh, with high development sometimes there are definitely cons to that and that's like like stress and 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 toll on mental health and I mean these are the, the things that are put onto the society of of you know like a pressurized you know splendid work ethic but um, very it's very people it's not very people orientated it's very task orientated here so with that said the bridge i can just leave my bag here I, i'm not worried but that's the safety aspect one one amazing attractive thing about korea just in general is how safe it is oh you can hear you can hear by the noise the, the guys are back and here's the ferry look at the ferry Ferry, and there's an entourage, an entourage convoy of ski boats, ski, ski jets, whatever you call them. So yeah, so like the bridge is known for its, um, 
it's actually infamously known for suicide rates here because a lot of people jump from this bridge. Um, so much so that there's even a, a, a suicide watch that goes around, you know, just to see if there are any jumpers and um, yeah, and that's, that's as much as I know it. And what I've heard, I've never actually, I don't think I've been on this bridge, but what, I, what I've heard is they also um, tend to put inspirational quotes on it to kind of uh, discourage people from doing that, from jumping. Um, so yeah, like was, you know, there are a lot of the kids here go to these academies and like it's very, it's a very highly competitive social structure this side. So you can imagine that comes with its own fair share of um, stress. So uh, sometimes the, it, it gets too much for these kids and you know, and also like there's not much awareness I think here about mental health. It's only picking up recently but um, it's not it's not very like you know it's not recognized as a problem you know so yeah um, but anyway not to put any dampener on the day but that there must always be two sides to every coin you know the the, the good and and the not so good needs to be exposed so yeah yes Oh my goodness, like the last, the first time I came here, oh my gosh, this woman literally splashed the other guy <laughs> over there. Um, yeah, the last time I came, the first time I came here, I had this huge cotton candy rabbit thing, like rabbit structure of a cotton candy thing. You know and it was so cool it was, it was good I mean I, I I I have a sweet tooth but not so much being here anymore I used to have a sweet tooth back in South Africa but coming to Korea everything here has a lot of sugar in it and I think because of that that just like put me off sugar almost completely yo me having is tandeli sprite ifanta the sodas in general but now I just I, I can't even I can't even like because the like, sugar is in everything that's not supposed to have sugar is here in here. Hey, wait, yes. Yeah, so things like croutons, for example, have sugar. Savory things have sugar in it, things that you would never expect. Okay, so I just took off the phone from the the tripod thingy majig I have. Um, I've been here for almost like an hour now. You know, just taking it in. Um, hey, maybe my face should be seen, Yana. Hello. Actually, let me put it back. The cases have been going up lately. Um, for the last three, five days, the the average COVID cases a day were 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 about 500 and more from Wednesday. So that's causing a bit of a scare amongst the, the Korean Disease Control and Prevention Agency or whatever. Um, yeah, because, you know, now there's, there's a threat of a third wave looming and that's obviously not good. Um, and a lot of the, interestingly enough, a lot of the cases being reported are from Seoul within, the, within and around the city. So I will not be taking off my mask anymore. Um, that was just for me to see my face because sometimes I forget how I look like with it on constantly. Um, yeah, there are, there's a couple here that has food. And with that said, I think I'm gonna go and look for something to eat. Okay, food. Let's go look some. Let's go look for some food. Though. Oh, that was so cool. Jet ski. That's it. Jet ski. Why do I keep saying ski jet? <laughs> jet ski. He literally. Oh, and here this guy's wakeboarding. Yo, oh, I know. There's a lot happening. Wakeboarding, jet skiing. This is the life. Okay? 
Anyway, it's the guy with the green jet ski. He was literally launched up in the air. He was like airborne for like half a second. Hey now, look at this. What? Wow. Look at this spectacle. I even forgot that I actually wanted to query for the ferry before getting the food. Let me go check about the ferry. I see. It seems like a little port there. I'm gonna go see how. I don't know. I don't know how to get there. I don't know over there. I'm not sure, but I will find a way. I will find a way. Ah, voila! Tickets, 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 tickets. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Maybe I'll book a specific time to go, and then, yeah, and then we, then I go get food, and then come back, and then ferry it up, and then go and check up blossoms, and then call it a day. Okay, so the time is, is quarter past three, so the three o'clock one just left. I think I'll get the four o'clock, so that will give me time to eat, and then, yeah. So before I went, before paying, the woman said that I should uh, write, oh, I have to fill in this boarding declaration, so let me do that now. Okay, so I've just made my reservation. Uh, I've booked uh, for the four o'clock cruise. It embarks at 4.50. So I wanted to initially, well, I wanted four o'clock, right? But then I changed my mind when I was filling in the cruise declaration form. I wanted to actually do the five o'clock uh, cruise but um because apparently i couldn't because i did not book in advance so i think the only available spots were then the four o'clock so i just reverted to my old plan so four o'clock and this is all spontaneous nothing was planned so i'm glad they actually had a spot for me now i'm going to go to the cafe that i initially asked where the ticket office was to wait it out until um, we embark, which is a, at 3.50, so 10 minutes before the time. So yeah, let me chill here and see. Okay, so I am here next to the terminal that I'm supposed to go into, Terminal 2. So while I wait, I obviously just decided to get myself a strawberry smoothie, which the barista is making for me now um yeah i'm just having a bit of a chuckle over the way smoothie is spelt it's mmo double m okay so i've just uh, grabbed my seat i have my smoothie on hand basic i don't know what i was expecting that's the thing here, yeah, like every time I've been to places and I and I and I expect the best tasting thing in the world, it really is just the most average thing I've had. Um, um, that's just like I have to clear my mouth. The porridge. Anyway. Yeah, and it's weird because I didn't actually didn't, I didn't put any lip gloss today. I don't know where the build-up came from, but anyway. Mm. So I'm just here, you know, I'm about to board soon, not now. Uh, I, I obviously chose this Rubis, Rubis Cafe it's called, um, because um, it's very close to the terminal. Where I'm supposed to go on Terminal 2 and I have to actually put a bit of a move on with the smoothie because I don't know if they allow food onto the ferry So yeah, I think I'm gonna quickly drink mm -hmm. I have about 20 minutes because embarking embarking time is at as I said, I think before 3.50 so 10 minutes before then, that's when the ferry leaves. It's gonna leave me. Let me, actually, let me not put that into the universe. 
<laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> anyway, um, let me try and drink this as fast as I can. But um, one thing I will like, if this, I'm trying to make this as natural as possible. But it's coming across everything other than that, which is fine. It is my first time being serious about this thing, so bear with me. And um, this is all being shot on a seven iPhone seven, so it's not the best camera quality, but it's okay. Wedding time is in plus minus five minutes. Um, I have my ticket with me. <sighs> I'm nervous. I don't know where to go exactly, but I'm going to ask. That's the beauty of having a mouth. Um, I'm actually pretty chuffed with how much it actually was. It wasn't that bad. 16,000 Korean won. I'll do all the conversions later. I'm inside the terminal. Okay, there are people waiting here for the four o'clock. So I'm definitely at the right place. Okay, um, it's a little bit chilly. I'm gonna sit on one of these high chairs. Overlooking the river. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day, I think. Let's see, I will be the judge of the ferry trip my first time on a ferry in Korea I love how all of this was so spontaneous and this was 16,000 won which is about mm, just under 200 Rand so it's not too bad for adult so even if heaven forbid it sucks and I don't enjoy it eh, I didn't break the bank <laughs> so our official has just opened the boarding gate so we are going to board soon. Okay, going in, going in. Very nice. It's a little bit cold suddenly. I don't know why. And I hope there's a toilet in there. Hi, yes, they are. Ooh, all aboard. <laughs> okay, I obviously want a seat next to the window. But then I think it doesn't really matter because wherever we're positioned, sorry, Rayane, um, we will see the river in its entirety. Okay, uh, where should I sit? Which is the best place to sit? I don't know. Maybe going upstairs? Let's see. Okay, so I'm on the ferry. And I'm upstairs. <clears throat> I just hope that it doesn't rain. Because uh, it looks a bit threatening. Look at the sky. Hands up in the sky with the seagulls. But this is the current view. We have yet moved. We have not moved yet. Looking good, looking good. Epic man. Like I have, a, I have a fear now that they're just gonna grab my phone or something and mistake it for food. Oh my gosh, look at them all gathering. Like I'm such a hypocrite. I was just literally saying, why are we busy feeding them? And then this very sweet lady gave me like some some of these snacks to throw at them. So I'm gonna try throw now. Look, throwing. Oh, no, didn't catch. I, 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 I threw a few and uh, one or two did catch midair. Whoa, that one caught. He caught it. Oh, missed it. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. Like, what if they poop on me? Whoa, that one was so close. Actually, we have started moving now. <laughs> This is so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I made the spontaneous decision without planning ahead to do this. Oh my gosh, this is so close for comfort. Insane. I'm still looking at the seagulls. Like they're also performing for us. 
like the jet skis the jet ski squad <laughs> A lot of them are still on the hunt. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a little over this, but they are not. The seagulls are not over it. They are still waiting for those snacks. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Insane. Okay, so it seems as if the ferry is now turning to go back. So I think. For the trip going back, I am now going to be in the present, live in the present moment. Turn off the camera because it's been a partner of mine this whole day. Um, uh, you know, it's something and yeah, I'm going to take this all in while I still can. Alright, so I've just sat down and uh, the ferry ride is almost coming to an end I am just so emotional um, you won't obviously see it through the mask maybe that's a good thing that the mask disguises how I'm my, my, my facial expressions right now I think nobody wants to see that including myself including me but yeah I think that introspective you know reflection was needed I, I tend to have a lot of those lately obviously I think it's being by yourself really forces you to look within and just think about your life in general and um, what where am I going where will I be in the next five ten years just very future orientated sometimes and I forget to live for the now and this is the now that I am grateful for okay so uh, we are about to dock now I think I am going to eat at home this food at home I'll cook mincemeat and make tortillas from scratch I'm gonna take the train go back to the station that I came from uh, take the bus and go home so I've just got off the boat uh, I am done for the day it was fun Sarangi. see you later